Hey guys, I usually don't really rant too much, uh, but this has been a issue. So roughly a year ago when my parents went to San Diego, they drove along and the Costco battery that they had for four plus years, you know, finally died. Okay, I get that. Um, but the AAA guy who, um, the truck who replaced it with a new AAA battery was pretty good. They changed the battery out, they charged her out X amount of money for it, and they also replaced the grounding cable that I have no reason why they did that, but because I usually trust my electric electronics for my Hondas. I have like this 2007 Honda Accord, as well as my 2008 Honda Civic Hybrid, as well as my Chevy Volt that I love. All three of these cars I really love. Uh, but what happened now is that this battery, it's just barely you know, 12 months old or less, died. And it's not holding its charge. It holds its charge for about two or three days, maybe four days. Then it dies. Um, this car is driven pretty much pretty, it's driven every day, except for this past weekend. And when we started up, it started up. And this morning, it just didn't start up this morning. So this is kind of messed up. Um, normally we have a Costco battery. Now we have a AAA battery. Again, you know, we I checked all the connections, cleaned everything out. No, everything is brand spanking clean. Uh, there's no corrosion or whatsoever. Not even before they changed out the grounding cable, I have no idea. It was probably upsell. I'm thinking. Um, but long story short, it's still charged. My alternator works. The, is this brought to the mechanic? My alternator works, and it puts a good 12 something volts into the battery like my other batteries did uh, but it's been 12 months and it's failed so we called up the um, the uh, uh, AAA truck they came over they jumped it they checked it they say it was a-okay and it was putting this charge and stuff gave us a little slip and it says they can't do anything about it so this is the second time we called AAA on this one I think this battery already failed once about a couple of months ago uh, but the fact that it only holds about what three days of charge there's definitely something wrong but AAA doesn't seem to be changing it so I usually don't rant but this is something that's really kind of peeving me especially when it's my parents car that they rely on this car so much I love working on my cars I love taking care of my cars and I take really good care of my cars and change things even before it's needed to be changed like my batteries and stuff I usually do but the Costco batteries been going good but this one from AAA was just an issue and yeah I love my cars a lot so anywho long story short just a quick rant um i'm kind of disappointed with uh, this triple a battery uh hopefully what the advice that the triple a truck guy said was that um just call them next time for another jump and i thought that was not acceptable as an answer since this is the second time this happened already so long story short um i've already brought to the mechanic like i said they already checked the alternator it works they checked uh, some other stuff. The next thing we might want to check is the drainage of the systems in the car. Uh, but at the same time, seeing that my other uh, Costco battery lasted so long and this AAA battery just sucks, it, it kind of sad. It's really kind of sad. Anyways, just a quick rant. Uh, but hopefully AAA will resolve this. I'm calling AAA after this win. I just brought it back from the mechanic and the AAA approved mechanic. And they tested the battery and they said that the battery passes their test, the AAA test, but it doesn't hold the charge probably beyond a certain point. They think that it, the the voltage actually drops too quickly after it's been charging for about two hours at their at their shop. So they're kind of wondering about that. It's a slow, um, a slow turn. Uh, that's, that's what they said. So they're still suggesting that either I just hold on to the battery. They can't do anything to replace the battery for, for us, but uh, they suggest you're getting a new battery or calling AAA again just to follow up on this one. Or perhaps maybe even asking for our money back. But let me let me let me know if you guys experience issues with AAA batteries and stuff. Um, I'd love to hear other stories about it. But right now, uh, as soon as AAA responds back to us, we'll try to figure out what we could do with this um, with this with this half dying battery that only lasts for three or four days. Anyway, thanks for thanks for your time, guys. Again, love you guys. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and if you have. If, if you haven't been getting any of the subscriptions, I've been making new videos. There is a little bell button next to the subscription button that um, you have to click to actually get any new updates on any videos I make for this channel. Anyway, thanks a lot. Again, I love working on the Hondas and I also love working on my Chevy Volt. But thanks again. Please subscribe. Have a good one. Laters. Bye-bye.